Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome once again my friends out there in the wonderful world of television land how are you guys how's the family how's the friends how's the cousins how's everybody hope you are all fine and well welcome to season two of Ikra Kids TV not only do we have the usual features yeah we've got you know we've still got like let's see the world where we've gone all over the place to see amazing things we've all still still got yeah yeah we've got muslim heroes as well yeah talking about amazing people that did amazing things throughout history and of course we've still got the random art show showing you how to do a bit of drawing do a bit of coloring a bit of shading stuff like that but not just that we've added to our roster of amazing shows <laughs> we've got abc of islam where i've been looking looking all over the planet, and I mean all over the planet, for those elusive letters that my future self has sent to us. Quite confusing. What's going to happen when all those letters are found? Oh, I'm sure we're going to find out as soon as possible. We've also got Muslim Maestros. Now, Muslim Maestros is about going into our community, speaking to talented individuals that are doing fantastic work in and outside of the Muslim community. And we've sat down, we've spoken to them, and we have interviewed them, and it's all coming up soon. We also have the new feature, Kun Fire Kun, with Professor Ikra, and of course, Make sure he's not here as well. <laughs> Kid Bilal featuring things that you see every day like satellites. Well, you don't see satellites, but things like TVs, microphones, microwave ovens. How do they actually work? How does the sun work? Mm. Well, if you watch Kun Fire Kun, how things work, they'll tell you all about it. Right, before we get on with the show, let me set today's question. Hmm, I want to make it a bit more challenging for you. Who was... <laughs> The second to last prophet. <gasps> Who was the second to last prophet? Mm, don't have to send it in to us. Yes, you can see the QR code. Yes, you should click on it, but you don't have to send your answers when you go to our Instagram page. Just go over there, make sure you follow us and like. And if you've got any comments or feedback or anything you'd like to send in, like your amazing artwork, or if you've got an idea for Kun Fire Kun that you think, I'd like to know how this works and that works, we will feature it. All you need to do is let us know on that page. Okay, so the question again before we go for the show is, who was the second to last prophet? We'll find out together in a while. But for now, let's get on with the show. Initiating system one. System one loaded. You guys will never guess where we are. Have a look. This is Torres de Sereno. It is a beautiful medieval castle. Now, according to my app, we've got four of these up there somewhere. Let's go check it out. Hi guys, we are back. This is called Torres de Serrano and apparently there are some letters here somewhere hidden in this castle. So together we're going to try and find them. Let's go! Ja, 
Hey guys, according to the phone, it's up here somewhere. So let's go and have a look, shall we? It's not down there. No, it's not down there. Come on, guys. So I don't know why he decided to put it so high up as well. But when I look over the edge, look over the edge for a second. When I look over the edge, my legs get all wobbly. It's horrible! I'm going to find it up here and put it in my hand. It's not far. Come on, guys, let's just see. Now, let me just remind you, according to this, we're looking for four Ds. Okay, so if you see the D, let me know, okay? Send us here somewhere. Here? Ah! Here is. We found our first D. And D is for Vicar. Vicar is an Arabic word which means to remind oneself or to mention. Vicar can take many different forms and they say the best form of dhikr is to read the Qur'an. It can also mean reciting or repeating certain words like Alhamdulillah or SubhanAllah and remind us of Allah's favour upon us. Dhikr can be done at any time, night or day, so we should do dhikr often. Now you know your ABC. with your eyes closed again oh uh, yeah i just don't like this countryside yeah but you know what happens if you do that don't you uh no what will happen well we might have a nasty accident no we won't
Well, look at that, eh? What? I told you we're gonna crash. Oh, 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 uh, I suppose it makes sense, innit? I suppose I should, yeah. I suppose you should start riding the bike with your eyes open, it, yeah. Uh, I suppose so. <laughs> Sammy and Kiki. Space Kids. Danger in Space. Sammy and Kiki are on a quest to find their parents who are lost in space. While exploring Allah's creation the kids went deep into space. But Sammy's safety rope broke. So Kiki gave chase. He flew out of sight. The last thing she saw was his boots. How long could he last with hardly any air in his suit? Then Kiki remembered. Whether in space, near or far, there is nothing more powerful than sincere doer. Suddenly he reappeared in a glittery shower, with a grin on his face and a bunch of space flowers. It was only a trick, he wanted to give her a surprise. She was so happy, that tears filled her eyes. What did the buffalo say to his son as he was going to school? Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because <laughs> he was outstanding in the field. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the shoemaker hate his job? Because he's always seen defeat. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Right, the show is going along very nice, but I thought we'd just draw some breaks for a second and we need an answer to that question. Who was the second to last prophet? Did you say Isa? Jesus, peace be upon him, is absolutely correct. Well done, guys. Right, let me give you another question. We'll find out the answer when we get back at the end of today's show. Who was the first person to make the call to prayer? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. I hope it's on the tip of your brain. Keep that answer in there. We're going to find out together what answers you've got and see if it's right at the end of the show. But for now, let's get on with the show. Initiating system one. System one loaded. Guys, I think the next one is up here somewhere. According to this phone, it is. Just on my own. Right, guys. Deen can mean religion or way of life. It is usually referring to the way of life or the religion of Islam. Deen is a very important word that denotes a number of important aspects regarding the religion of Islam. The Deen of Islam also includes the five pillars, which are five very important aspects of the religion of Islam. Deen is the religion or way of life of Muslims. Right, so we have found our second D. According to the app on my phone, it's down below somewhere, so we're going to have to go all the way back down to find 
find the other two Ds. Let's go find it now. So we've come downstairs and according to the app, it's in this archway somewhere. So let's have a look. The word dua in English would be translated as supplication, meaning one can request or ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything during the night or the day. Dua is a very important aspect of Islam because it means that we can stay in touch with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for his favor whenever or wherever we are. So whenever you feel sad or lonely, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I think it might be on this gate fence thing here. Muslims are required to pray five times a day. Of these five prayers, Dhuhr is the second prayer of the day. It is usually offered during midday. Dhuhr is a very important aspect of the deen and should be offered if possible and where possible. Dhuhr is only replaced on a Friday with the Juma prayers, which is the congregational prayers of the Muslims. Right guys, so we found all four Ds with your help, thank you so much. Of course, they were Dhikr, Deen, Dhuhr and Dua. Wow, mashallah. Guys, thank you for helping me find the Ds. There's a few more, according to my phone, a few more scattered around here in Valencia in Spain. So we're going to go and find them soon. But until then guys, take care. Asalaamu Alaikum. Another show done and dusted, more amazing features, more education, more art, more features. That's what we want. We want your ideas to make our show as good as possible. Now you can email us, of course, info at ikra.tv or if you hit that QR code on our screen right now, even from the comfort of your sofa, you can go directly to our Instagram page and over there you can inbox us after you've liked and shared all of our bits and pieces. You know what I mean? You can inbox me directly there, DM me directly there and we will hear your feedback as well. Oh, Khalil, I want to know how shoes work when you put them on and they work in it. What's the big deal? Oh, I want to know how televisions work. Ah, well, if you do have an idea, if you're curious about something and want to know how it works, inbox me right now. We'll sort it out with the two presenters, wherever they are. Right, my friends, thank you so much for checking us out this day. Speak to you soon. Salaam Alaikum. <laughs> TV.